Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the lifestyle channel that I'm running. I've got a little bit of an update video for you, and it's also largely for me because I want to make this video so that at the end of the semester, I can look back on it and say, all right, what did I have planned? What did I accomplish? Because I have a lot of plans for this semester. It's I feel like it's going to be so much better. Um, I've got two videos that are coming up pretty soon. One of them is going to be the move in day vlog. Uh, much better than last year's move-in day. Got a brand new dorm, so I'll talk all about that in that video. Uh, that'll come up next week. I'm actually, today is, um, today's Friday, August 30th. And right now I don't really have internet, so I don't know when this video is going to be uploaded. But um, I'm moving in tomorrow early in the morning, so that video should be up hopefully right after this one, if not next Monday. Let's just get through this quick, because, uh, you know, update videos have a standard stereotype of creator makes promises, creator doesn't uphold those promises, creator apologizes. And so I am going to start this out by saying I'm a full-time student. I have so many projects planned and I'm going to get to those in a second that I might, might not hit every single video, but this is a priority on my list. In a future video I do have planned, I will talk about uh, what this list is, but of 10 items, the lifestyle videos and vlogs are number seven. Um, so I really want to keep up with these. Uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the first year. There were a lot of ups, there were a lot of downs. Academically, I was fine, but ton of life stuff happening. Uh, I got really confused. I, I fell out of scheduling. I, I didn't really put my best foot forward. It, it was just kind of a mess. And I'm, I want to avoid that this year. And that's the goal. <laughs> Pretty much just don't, don't have a bad time, you know, try and be my best self at school and make the most of all of my time there at school. You know, the classes weren't they weren't too challenging. Like my CS class had some good challenges. I loved it when we started learning about hardware and all of the new stuff. Um, my cognitive neuroscience class, like 80%, 85% of the things I felt like I already knew. Um, but I learned a bunch of cool stuff and I loved those parts. But there's just this challenge of, you know, I felt like I had to stick to the class curriculum. I had to, I couldn't go outside of it. And this semester, I really want to go into more of that. For example, linguistics, you know, the first half is a lot what I've talked about in, you know, psychology classes and read about in books about how the brain interprets language. And I can't wait until we get to semantics, phonology, uh, why you learned reading wrong. Like the syllabus that I got is fantastic. I've only gotten two syllabi so far, but stats class looks like it's going to be a fun challenge. It's going to be good. It's going to be hard. Uh, and linguistics looks like it's going to be so interesting. And I'm very excited for that. I'm very exciting. Very excited for that. The first year was rough. I'll put it that way. Uh, we ended off fine. So like the long-term stuff was fine, but a lot of stuff got thrown in shambles. I looked into transferring. I have some colleges I might transfer to if this semester doesn't go well. I still want to go to Paris next spring. Uh, and enough about the first year, right? That's in the past. This semester, um, I'm taking four classes and a seminar. So NYU has a program called the Presidential Honors Scholars or whatever. You apply, if you have the grades, whatever you get in. Uh, and you get to choose the seminar throughout the week. I chose the one on urban and cultural and social linguistic studies. Uh, and essentially at the end of January, we're, for eight days, we're going to Africa. So that's gonna be fun. And so every Wednesday I have that class. So the other four classes, and I'm gonna go in order on based on my schedule, are statistics for the behavioral sciences. So it's a stats class that is for psych majors and stuff like that. It's a requirement for my second major, which is language and mind. My primary major is computer science. Then on Mondays and Fridays, on Monday it's about an hour and a half, on Friday it's two and a half hours, I have a game design class, Games 101 in Brooklyn. So that class I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, whatever the times, I have Linguistics 101 and Basic Algorithms 310, which is just, you know, algorithms uh, for computer science. It's a computer science requirement. Uh, those classes I'm excited for. And I was excited for all my classes last year too. But I think I had the expect had these expectations that I couldn't really label, but still felt were there. So this semester, I'm going in with a different foot and saying, I'm gonna just like just go whatever down whatever path I want to that interests me for these classes, while also like sticking to the, like the curriculum. For example, I'm currently reading a book by Robin Clark called Meaningful Games. It's how game theory applies to linguistics, which is it's really fascinating. I haven't gotten too far. I'm like 60, 70 pages in, but it's very fascinating. It's the kind of thing that we're not gonna cover in the linguistics class, and it's something I hope to talk to my professor more about as the semester goes on. So, you know, one of my goals for this semester is just to really try and go beyond what the course curriculum is asking me to do. And so for so long, I've been self-taught on so many things that I think to succeed more, 
that's the kind of thing that I have to do. And I have a bunch more challenges. I so much planning went into this year. I have so many projects and going into those, we will start with the project that is what you're watching now, the lifestyle slash vlog channel. So last, uh, last year, last semester, I wanted to upload one video a week and I want to go back to that. I want to uh, upload at least one video a week. Every Monday, I want to upload a vlog video because I think that's, and that's a great time. I can record, you know, throughout the week or whatever I want to record. I edit on either Saturday or Sunday and I love editing. I can just do it for tons of hours. Well, I don't know. I spent like three, four hours max on one video at a time for YouTube. That is, um, none of those were on here. You know, I can just edit for a while. And so sitting down for a few hours on Sunday, perfect time to edit it, upload it overnight, schedule it for 3.30 PM on Monday. Boom. You got a vlog video once per week. And I have a bunch of videos written out, so that'll be fun. And I also want to do cooking videos. The last video I uploaded cooking breaded chicken. Uh, I, <laughs> that was fun. It was like 50% Tutorial 50% having fun because I was doing it from memory, but if you haven't actually go check that out. So yeah, I want to get cooking videos out because I have a kitchenette in my dorm. Uh, speaking of, I have three roommates, one's like main roommate, but you can check all that information at my dorm and next video of move-in day, I'll be in Palladium Hall. Then as I did last semester, the month of videos that were super fun to edit, a lot of problems were about, you know, I was going through the footage and I was like, wow, there's this, you know, I, I made three videos, like three clips one week, and then I just didn't do anything for two weeks. So I'm going to be doing a week of classes because every week is more or less the same for each class. And I think it's just better that way. So I can also upload, you know, four classes. Like those are four videos right there. So week of class videos, those will probably be included in the Monday's videos. So I'd upload those on Monday. Otherwise I'd upload them on Friday, depending on my videos. And then the last type of video I want to do is they're called the YouTube haiku, short of, short of, sort of, um, you see them by like, like Andrew Dotson's a physics guy, uh, Caleb city does some skits, but I'd go for more for Andrew Dotson's kind of style of computer science, like skits or kind of make it funny and comedic. I feel like you can write a funny video for that. And that's the goal. So yeah, those are the four types of videos I want to make. And that's, that's that for this channel, the rest of the, uh, this, this year, the plans, so many plans. I'm so excited this month, September, one of the challenges is a ketogenic diet. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. Essentially 5% of your diet is carbohydrate. And this is for two reasons. I'm doing this because I kind of want to see how my body will, will act, will respond to kind of burning off a different fuel source, essentially. Um, it'll, I mean, I'll work the same. I'll be the same person, but I'm just curious as to how I'll change and if that's better. And also I want to test, I have this like book of mottos uh, that I keep adding to over time. And I want to test just how much I can challenge my mind. The motto that I will return to consistently this year and say, am I meeting this goal? The human body is a glorious mechanism. It is not the body that you have to convince, but the mind. For example, you take cold showers, your body can survive a cold shower, not a problem. You just have to convince your mind that, hey, sure, this might be uncomfortable, but we're doing it for a reason. And so I just want to, want to push myself in that kind of way. And I guess a ketogenic diet, taking it kind of far, but it'll be fun. No, Mark, it probably won't be fun. The first week will most definitely not be fun. And for the cooking videos, ketogenic diet in college, I haven't found much on that. So maybe I'll start a trend. I don't know, keto is kind of a trend. So I'm kind of hopping on that as well. But the next thing I'm doing is a project every month. And this I'm really excited for. I tried to do this in 2018, but I didn't plan it out well enough. And trust me, the plans for these are amazing. September. I am going to be teaching myself Spanish on Duolingo and Italian on Rosetta Stone. Duolingo is a essentially gamified language learning app and Rosetta Stone is the standard uh, language learning platform that's been around for such a long time. I wanted to take it a step further though. And I have this whole rubric planned out, this whole plan that for the entire month, I will be teaching myself both of these languages on both platforms the same amount and comparing them at the end. I wanna make a series of three videos for this project. Um, but a video explaining those will be coming out later. So if you're interested in that, hit subscribe, hit the bell, whatever, to get notified for that, uh, because that's gonna be my big project. So really quickly, shameless self plug, there's a Discord server that I run called Programming. It's a pretty basic name, but it's a programming server and I just revamped it. I renamed all the channels, redid like 80% of the roles. You can choose your own roles. We have so many different channels from a variety of different languages. We have a game design, uh, like, levels of chat. We have web development and design chats. And right now we actually run weekly code golf competitions. So this morning I released the code golf competition, which was print out the Fibonacci numbers, each on a separate line from zero to 30 F zero to F 30. 
Uh, and then we're also running bi-monthly events. These also might turn into monthly events. The server activity is very low right now. Uh, we only have about 10, 15 people, I think, participating in this month's activity um, or saying they will, you know, they gave themselves the notification rank for it. But essentially we're gonna be messing around with graphics generation and I will be participating in those projects. I have not yet started for graphics generation. I plan to second week of September. I, the programming server, check it out if you're into it. Um, work on projects with me. I have so many things planned for it. Lastly, thank you for watching. I know I was blank over the summer. That's just because I was working in a summer camp. You can't really do much with videos of the summer camp. I'm back now. Of course, I might not upload again for a month. You never know where life might take you, but it's on my priority list. It's on my list of things to do. I have time scheduled in to edit these videos and record these videos. I have a, but the next video that's kind of like this one uh, will be a sort of productivity video. It was inspired by watching um, Thomas Frank's videos. I think it's like college tips or whatever. But it's sort of a productivity video and I just wanna go over my process of how I'm entering this year right. Because last year I thought I had things planned but college is just so different from high school. It's different from doing projects on your own. I'm just gonna go over how I plan out everything, um, what I do to keep myself on track, how I'm now using a calendar. None of these things might work but planning is essential but plans are useless. So without further rambling, thanks again for listening. Uh, I hope you got something out of this video and I hope you're excited as I am for all these projects. Planning is so fun, and I hope for nothing more than being able to get these projects done uh, and not backing down in the face of difficulty. Without further ado, if you're excited as I am, make sure to hit subscribe, leave comments down below. The comments keep me going. Elliot and Ambulance Games, there have been times when I look at those comments, I'm like, this is why. This is why I'm like, if you have no other reason, this is why you sit down and make the next video. Um, so thank you so much. Comments mean so much. Yeah, just share the video, whatever you gotta do. I'm most excited for the Rosetta Stone and Duolingo thing, so that introductory video will be out at the end of the week, and I'll have explained my starting progress. But without further ado, for the third time, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Twitter at mobkin 78 I suppose. And until next time, have a good one, and don't forget to stay awesome. Is it focusing on my That's face? That's a swear in the UK. There you go. I'm editing the update video. It's up. I'm the cooler half of our siblings. Ooh, this is a nice camera. Ooh, the lighting over here is fantastic. Wow. Mark, do you think I could be a professional vlogger? This is the behind the scenes look of mom. Mark Bacon. Oh, sorry. No, not you, mom. Filming and editing and oh, what it no. really looks like. <laughs> the true trashy scene that it is. Does your arm get tired holding this? It could work out. I've got to switch arms. You'll never see me again. Well, maybe. Well, Mark's gonna come down to Alabama at some point. Oh, it's hard not to look up at the thing and, not, and look straight at the lens. It's a, it's a skill. Hello, YouTube subscribers. <laughs> My 62 subscribers. 62 subscribers? Yeah. <laughs> I have like two. Oh no, how do I stop this? Oh yeah.